Daily house I live All to now I breath Let my whole life be as precious of your grace Daily house I live all to now I pray Let my whole life be as precious of your grace We cry out the Father Hallowed be your name Hallowed be your name Hallowed be your name We cry we cry of the Lord. Come, be Jehovah, there, there is no one. Convent and keeping God. Convent and keeping God. I say, there is no one. Jehovah God. Alpha and Omega. Jehovah, there is no one. Almighty Father, there is no one like you. King God glory, Jehovah, there is no one Convent and keeping God. Convent and keeping God. I worship in this morning. There is no one like you. We say, I'm gonna be God. Jehovah, there is no one like you. God of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, everlasting God, Jehovah, there is no one like you. We worship you. Come and keep in God. We say, there is no one like you. I, I follow you. Jehovah, there is no one like you. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, Alpha Omega, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, I say, unchangeable God, Jehovah Nissi, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, Jehovah Leshada, unchangeable God. You are unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. You are unchangeable God. Can you worship the unchangeable God, the one that they saved yesterday, today, and forevermore? He says, I am the Lord, I change that now. That's why the sons of Jacob are not consumed. Can you magnify him? Can you exalt his holy name? His power is still as of old. <laughs> he is the all knowing, the omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipresent God. Let us worship him, let us adore him, let us magnify him. Say sweet things to him this morning. Thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking. Thank you for all he did yesterday. Thank you for what he will do today. Thank you for all that I has started doing since the beginning of the year till now. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for divine presence. Thank you for divine backing and support. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. The Almighty God is worthy. Ah, my river to Gaza, Pale Mama. Zeboleke Gabali Mashetalia. Brother, can we thank him? Can we thank him? Can we thank him? Exalt him this morning. Thank him for his plan and purpose for your life. Thank him for his thought towards you. 
thought of peace and thought of evil that will give you expected end. Thank for his glory that terminates shame, his glory that roll away reproach, his grace that does not allow you to be disgraced. Appreciate God for preserving your going out and your coming in. Thank you for prospering the work of your hand. Appreciate you for your joy, your business, your career, your ministry. Appreciate you for every member of your household. Bless the Lord this morning. Bless the Lord this morning. And forget not all his benefits. The God that forgives thee all your trespasses, all your transgressions, all your sin. Appreciate God for the dwelling of the Holy Spirit. Appreciate God for your salvation. <laughs> give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Thank you for the remaining days of the year for what God will do. <laughs> Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have worshipped. Lift up your voice to heaven, Lord, and clear and say, Father, by the power in the blood, wash me clean this morning from every blemish, every stain, every death. In the name of Jesus, purify and sanctify me by the blood that nothing will hinder my cry today. Nothing will deny me answer prayer today. <laughs> Lord, wash me clean by the blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood. For the blood is shed for the remission of our sins. Let's purify, let's sanctify, even by the blood this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. Only one person is saying amen. amen. This morning you will receive a visitation amen. that will change the story of your life. Amen. If you are that fellow, let your amen be greater than everybody. Amen. Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. Only one person said, Amen. Amen. You will reign in life. Amen. And because you will reign in life, sickness will not reign over you. Amen. Diseases will not reign over you. Amen. Poverty will not reign over you. Amen. Your enemy will not reign over you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because God has made you king and priest to reign in that name that is above every other name, He will establish your dominion. Amen. I say the Lord will establish your dominion Amen. and you will possess your possession. Amen. You will be above all the days of your life. Amen. You will not be beneath in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, Father. you have made me king and priest. Amen. For the rest of my life, Amen. let me reign as king and priest Amen. all the days of my life. Can you go ahead and touch to the Almighty God? The Lord has made you king and priest. Tell him this morning that you will reign as king and priest all the days of your life. Man, Lima to Gashekatal, Mama. Daddy, let me reign as king and priest in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Say, Father, because you have made me king and priest. So that I can reign here on earth. I decree right now that the enemy will not reign over me. Sickness will not reign in my body. Poverty will not reign in my life. Witness and wizard will not reign over me. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. There are certain things that must not reign over you. Karama, <laughs> mama, you have been made king and priest that you may reign. <laughs> Uh, your enemy will not reign over you. Fear, anxiety, worry will not reign. <laughs> oh, Masi Kale Baba. Silabote Gashin Tali Mama. Kali Baba 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 Baba. Lekata Gazan Talia. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift up your voice, Father. Every power assigned to reign over me. By your power. Bring them down now. Come ahead and touch your magic God. Let God bring them down. Every power assigned to reign over you. <laughs> it is impossible. 
Palima toga gilebosa. Oh. Zabala baba baba baba. Zabala baba baba baba. Zakale gazuka la bashenteli. Tombolobo. Zibala boteke chentelia. Zakale katugale bashentali mama. Any power assigned to reign over you. <laughs> Let God breathe it down in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Second to the last prayer point, lift up your two hands this morning and say, Father, by your power and by your grace, establish my dominion. My dominion over all my enemy. My dominion in life. Can you go ahead and turn to the Almighty God? Ask the Lord to establish your dominion. Ask the Almighty God to establish your dominion. Oh God of heaven and earth, please establish my dominion. Father, establish my dominion. In Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father. Say, Father, this is the day that you have been, that I may rejoice and be glad in it. Therefore, throughout today, let me not sorrow. Let me not weep. Let me not mourn. Take me out safely. Bring me back safely. In the name of Jesus, I speak peace into my day, joy into my day, blessings into my day, success into my day, breakthrough into my day, favor into my day, victory into my day. Go ahead, touch to the Almighty God. All throughout today, God will give you victory. All throughout today, God will lift you higher. God will promote you. God will prosper the work of your hand. God will bless you. Nothing will work against you. Help we call. Help we call. Those you know, those you do not know, they will be willing to help you in that name of Jesus. Take evil far away from you. Sickness, diseases far away from you. Any evil associated with today, let you not be your portion. Brother, go ahead, take authority over the day. Sapalima kaso talimama. Porobobobo kasi talimama. Shilebote kasan talimama. Hey, Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Is it too early to ask for Christmas gift? <laughs> I told you yesterday that when I woke up, on Saturday and came out. I was welcome out by what? Amata. And the moment you begin to feel Amata, you know that the year is going to an end and Christmas is at the corner. Can I pray for you, sir? I stand here and I decree this Christmas coming, this new year coming, shall be the best you have ever had. So you lift up your voice and say, Father, this Christmas and New Year, remember me and my family. Give us our own Christmas gift. What do you want as Christmas gift? Is it a house? Is it a car? Can you open your mouth and talk to them? Is it a job? Is it a husband? Is it a child? What do you want God to give to you as your own Christmas gift? Is it conception? Go ahead. Say, Lord, this is my Christmas gift. Give me this Christmas gift. This long awaited contract. Let it be delivered to me as Christmas gift. Oh, my Ribaba. Things money can buy, things money can not buy. Lord, deliver to me. Pariba, Baba, Baba, Baba. Is somebody praying at all? I the Lord to deliver your Christmas gift. Oh, my Riba, take a seat, Talibaba. Is somebody asking at all? Is somebody asking at all? <laughs> Kaira Baba, ask for something big, something great. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Odun lo so pu yo, obare. Fishore showa o, taya koma. Onti o pa mi leko, lo dun tun tun. Mama, Jacob, shall I see what In that name that is above every other name, anything that will make you weep, 
that will make you more. As the year is coming to an end, let the most high God take far away from you. Because the Lord had made you king and priest that you may reign here on earth. I decree for the rest of your life you will reign. Situations will not reign over you. Poverty will not reign over you. Sickness and diseases will not reign over you. Fear, worries and anxiety will not reign in your life. Witches and wizards will not reign over you. Principalities and power will not reign over you. Satanic authors will not reign over you. Demonic forces will not reign over you. You will reign over them all. The Lord will establish your dominion in the name of Jesus. And I stand here as the servant of the Most High God. And I decree in that name that is above every other name. Anything that want to work against you today, let God paralyze them. Heaven and earth will cooperate with you today. The presence of God will abide with you today. The Lord will preserve your coming in and your going out. You will go out empty. You will return back full. You will go out full. You will return fuller. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. As the year is coming to an end. Heaven will remember you and give you a befitting Christmas gift. A befitting New Year gift. This coming Christmas and New Year will be the best ever in your family. You will spend the New Year in abundance. You will not lack any good thing. My God will surprise you. I say my God will surprise you. Any evil connected to this day, it will not be your portion. God will perfect your health. We pray for us that are sick wherever they are right now. Let the healing power of God touch them. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let your amen be louder three powerful times. Lift up your right hand and say with me, what an awesome God I serve the king of glory and the king of kings his reign and dominion has no end from generation to generation he is God he alone controls the entire universe and everything in heaven and on earth tremble and bow before the great God I declare and I proclaim concerning me and my household that our adversary shall not reign over us. Poverty shall not reign in our life. Sickness and disease shall not reign in our body. Fear shall not reign in our lives. Anxieties and worries shall not reign over our lives. The Lord shall establish our dominion over every situation and circumstances I declare and I confess that I am a king and a priest I am born to reign in life I am the head and not the tail I shall always be above only therefore anything attempting to reign over my life shall be brought down and be destroyed. I declare and I proclaim that I possess all the quality, the virtue, the wisdom, the understanding, the power and every resources to reign in life. I declare and I confess that I have the divine backing and support 
to reign in life. Therefore, any power challenging my dominion in life shall be utterly destroyed. I shall be lifted to reign for the rest of my life. I will finish well. I will finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to hell. I will reign eternity. I will love the Lord. And I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and blind the Holy Ghost for one minute. So badly brandy katogaba. Jimolo, say tamba lika ka. Pondala lekete gazunta limama. Zakura baba baka jekete limama. Tamba lika to gazantali. Thank you, mighty father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. I tell you, amen will be louder than everybody. Can you make it ten powerful time? Want to go? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And who does send together for the Almighty God? Can I prophesy to the life of somebody? May you forever rule over all your adversaries. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Can you wave to as many you can and say congratulations? Congratulations. 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 You wonder why you are saying congratulations. You will discover it now. Be seated. Uncovering your greatness by signs and wonder. On what? Uncovering your greatness. By what? To uncover means is already covered. Hello? Can I pray for only one person? Paraventure, you are under the influence of my voice. And they have covered your greatness. God will uncover it today. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 34 is our test for this morning. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 34. Uncovering your greatness by signs and wonders. Oh, had God as said to go and check him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm and by great terror according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Praise the Lord. Beloved, this Bible passage summarizes how God uncovered the greatness of the children of Israel. In Genesis chapter 12, you read from verse 2, or you read verses 2 and 3, you discover that from the very beginning, when God called Abraham, God gave Abraham an assurance of greatness not just for him alone but even for his seed Genesis chapter 2 verse 17 chapter 12 verses 2 and 3 he said and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great nobody said amen to that and thou shalt be a blessing. And I'll bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curse thee. And in thee, and in thee, shall all families of the earth be what? Be blessed. 
So God's agenda for every seed of Abraham is greatness. And remember that you and I are also seed of Abraham. We are also what? Seed of Abraham. Praise the Lord. How do I know this? How do I know this? Galatians chapter 3 verses 13 and 14. He said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone that hanged on a tree that the blessings of Abraham may come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Praise the Lord. So, the agenda of God for Abraham is greatness. And for his seed, their greatness was guaranteed. And for his seed, through his seed, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And you and I are spiritual children of Abraham because Christ has redeemed us so that the blessings of Abraham can come to us. Praise the Lord. So as a soma, because God is a faithful God, because God is the equipment, the talk and do. <laughs> Whatever he says he wants to do, he will do. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. He will perform his word. Can I pray for only one person? Every promises of God over your life, all shall come to pass. It was therefore not a coincidence or by accident that when children of Israel moved to Egypt, they became great. They became what? Look at the testimony of Pharaoh in the book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 8 to 10. Exodus chapter 1 verse 8 to 10. Look at the testimony of Abraham concerning the children of Israel, the seed of Abraham. He said, now there arose up a new king over Egypt. We knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, behold, that's what I said, behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. <laughs> you will be mightier than all your enemies. He said, Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Let them multiply. And it come to pass that when they are fallen out any war, they join also unto our enemy and fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. Beloved, Pharaoh became terrified. Pharaoh became frightened when he saw the manifestation of the greatness that God had assured Abraham and his seed in the land of Egypt. He said they are more and mightier than we. Beloved, what that tells you straight away is that either you believe it or not, your enemy know what you carry. <laughs> your enemy know who you are. And can I tell you one basic truth? Most of the problems in your life, most of the challenges you are facing is because of what God has ordained you to be that the enemy does not want you to become. But it is too late for them to stop you. I say it's too late for them to stop you. So, God has ordained the children of Israel to be great. And they manifested that greatness. Can I pray for you, sir? From today, everywhere you go, you will manifest greatness. Anywhere your children go, they will manifest greatness. If you are saying, amen, say it loud and clear. So, Sasoma, 
Because Pharaoh saw the greatness of the children of Israel, that was what brought problem to them. That Pharaoh decided to cover their greatness. Pharaoh decided to do what? To cover their greatness. And that tells you straight away the strategy the enemy had been using to cover greatness of many. But I am here to announce to you you are not among them. Because today, 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 by signs and wonder, God will uncover your greatness. So, what do they do? Look at what Pharaoh did to cover the greatness of the children of Israel. Exodus chapter 1, verse 11 to 14. Exodus chapter 1, verse 11 to 14. He says, Therefore, they did set over them what? Taskmaster. To do what? To afflict them with their what? Body. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. Python and Ramses, but the more they afflicted them, the more they do all, they multiply and grew, and they will and and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptian made the children of Israel to do all to serve with what rigor, and they made their life bitter. Stand on your feet. <laughs> they don't want you to be great, they are afflicting you. They don't, want to be, they don't want you to be great. They are making your life bitter. In that name that is above every other name, God will show forth his power on your behalf. He said they made their life bitter. How? He said with hard bondage. Praise the Lord. You want to take five prayer points immediately. How many prayer points? Are you ready, sir? I beg you in that name that is above every other name. Please pray these prayers. Because I can tell you categorically that many of us here, things that are happening to us is because the enemy wants to cover our greatness. Lift up your two hands and say, My father, my father, my father. Every problem, every trouble that the seed of greatness in me has brought into my life. Oh God! Ara! Deliver me now! Open your mouth and talk to the Almighty God. Whatever trouble the seed of greatness in your life has brought to you, let God arise and deliver you now. Oh! Kamato Gazikale Baba! Oh, you are not praying. <laughs> Brother, you are not praying. <laughs> oh, any trouble, any challenge, any situation that you are facing because of the seed of greatness in you, let God deliver you by signs and wonder. Oh, my riba, baba, baba, baba. Sapala, baba, baba. Kalaba, tega, santalia. Brokoto, gagaga. Gayekele, boka, santalia. Oh, my sita, baba. Santa. Hey, Jesus, my Tine, we have prayed. Lift up your chair and say, Father. Oh, you can do better. Say, Father. Every power assigned to make my life bitter. What are you waiting for? Be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth and talk to the Almighty God. Any power assigned to make your life bitter. Oh, the Bible says in Pharaoh appointed taskmaster to make the life of the children of Israel bitter. Hey, Kalima to Gazantali. Aha, Pale Baba. Your greatness will not be covered. Your greatness will not be covered. Kali Gagaga. By signs and wonder, God will uncover it. Palikete Basutalia. Brogo de Bobo. Kapa Baba. Oh. Hey, Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Lift up your two and say, Father, say, Father, every power afflicting my greatness, every power afflicting my greatness, every power afflicting my glory, every power afflicting my progress. What are you waiting for? Scatter by fire. Open your mouth 
any power afflicting my glory, afflicting my greatness, scattered by fire, 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 any power, any power afflicting my greatness, Masuka la Baba, Gareka to Gazantalia, Brogoro. Oh, oh, my sister, my Hey, Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Little up your child, say, Father. Say, Father. Let the manipulation of the enemy not succeed over my life. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Let the manipulation of the enemy not succeed over my life, 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 over my life. The manipulation of the enemy will not succeed, will not succeed. We not succeed. Kaliba baba baba. Kaliba mama. Kaliba to gasheta. In Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Lift up your train and say, Father, I will not serve those I'm not supposed to serve. Hey, the book of Ecclesiastes says, I saw a, a, a wonder under the sun. He says, priests were walking where? And servants are riding horses. <laughs> Brethren, you will not serve those you are not supposed to serve. Because you have been made to be great. It is you that may we serve. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, for the rest of my life. Let me not serve those I'm not supposed to serve. Oh God, my Father, establish my greatness. Oh, go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Karaba, ba 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 ba. Oh, my sister, mama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Your last prayer point. Holy Spirit have increased. I don't even know the number we are again. Praise God. He said all their service where they made them serve was with rigor. Sir, you will not suffer in life. Tomorrow we'll be talking about the one the, 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 the wonders of prosperity. Sir, I can stand here and I will tell you, sir. It is not working with rigor that brings blessing. No, sir. No, sir. I mean, no, sir. And that's why every power assigned that you may, that, 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 that you, you serve with rigor without result. God will deliver you. He told Joseph and say, Father. Say, Father. Say, Father. Anything that has to do with suffering for the rest of my life, let me not see it. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Anything that has to do with suffering. Kalima to Gashen Mama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Be seated. Thank God that you are praying. Do you know what? When this continued, Pharaoh tried everything to cover the greatness of the children of Israel. They cried to God. They did what? And the summary is our test. And if you also read Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 21 to 23 brethren for your greatness and your glory to be uncovered it will take signs and wonder. It will take what? Because that has been the pattern of God. That has been what? The pattern of God. Read Deuteronomy 6 21 to 23. The Bible says then Thou shalt say unto thy son, 
We were Pharaoh's what? Bond men. We are in Egypt. And the Lord did what? Brought us out of Egypt with what? A mighty hand. And the Lord showed signs and wonder. Great and saw upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, upon all his household before our eyes. Before your eyes, God will show signs and wonder over every strong man, over every power that say you are not going to be great. I say by fire, by war, God will fight your battle. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. If you read about it, I say, and he brought us out from then that he might bring us in to give us the land which he swear unto our brethren. Greatness is not a joke. That's why stop complaining, stop lamenting. How come I am praying? Things are not getting better. You have not prayed enough. Pray more. Pray more. Did you know he said pray for 400 years? Have you prayed for three years? Okay, have you prayed for 50 years? How old are you? Okay, have you prayed 100 years? But one thing is certain. By a mighty hand, by signs and wonder, God will bring you out. Out of poverty. Out of failure. Out of frustration. Out of lack. Out of diseases. Are you still sitting down? Lift up your two hands. How do you want God to bring you out? By mighty hand. By signs and the greatness of children of Israel was uncovered. Time did not permit us to go into the New Testament. To take another example, in the book of Mark chapter 5, reading from verse 1 to 25, the madman of Gadara, demons chained this destiny down. But by signs and wonder, Jesus delivered the madman of Gadara. This same man became an intercontinental evangelist. I said he went to Decapolis publishing the gospel. Look at look at the greatness in him that demons shame. But by signs and wonder, he was delivered. I have good news for you, sir. You will not die in your situation. Everyone try to cover your greatness. God will uncover it by signs and wonder. Oh, yeah, two prayer point and we'll be on our way. Lift up your two and say, Father, for my sake, show your signs and wonder over all my enemy, over every man, every woman that will not allow me to be great. Allah! Is somebody praying at all? Add a lot to show signs and wonder. Had a lot of show signs and wonder on your behalf. He showed signs and wonder over Pharaoh, over his house, over the nation to bring them out. Had a lot to bring you out. Kale baba baba, 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 kale baba baba. By signs and wonder. Hey, Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Even after they left Egypt, to now enter into the land became a problem. In Joshua chapter 6, the Bible says, the city of Jericho was short. No man could go in, no man could come in. And that is where the greatness of children of Israel is, because they are to possess the land that flow with milk and and I pray for you, sir. You are getting that job with signs and wonder. With signs and wonder, you are getting that contract. With signs and wonder, you are possessing your possession. With signs and wonder, you are getting married. By signs and wonder, you are carrying your baby. By signs and wonder, you are possessing your possession. Say, Father, by signs and wonder, let me possess my possession. 
Let me enter into my promised land. Let me receive my job. Let me receive my contract. Said to me by sense and wonder. Lord, by sense and wonder. Said to me, said to me, said to me, said to me. Go ahead, touch your mind. Go. Oh, Masika Lababa. Jebolobos Kata. I had a lot to set you by sense and wonder. Korobotega sin talimama. Let your greatness be uncovered. <laughs> Every forces that be covering it, let God bring you out to where you ought to be. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I stand upon this altar as the servant of the Most High God, and I decree every power that have tried to cover your greatness by signs and wonder let God uncover your greatness let God uncover your greatness let God deliver you let God bring you out of bondage bring you out of failure bring you out of frustration bring you out of lack bring you out of poverty bring you out of sorrow bring you out of bondage bring you out of captivity bring you out of barrenness bring you out of loneliness in the name of Jesus that seed of greatness in you will not die we are God as a day to take you no man will be able to stop you I don't know what you have been believing God for by signs and wonder that breakthrough will come your way in the name of Jesus that job will come in the name of Jesus that business will come in the name of Jesus your husband will come in the name of Jesus your wife will come in the name of Jesus you will get that visa in the name of Jesus you will pass that exam in the name of Jesus your promotion will come. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I don't know who this fellow is. The Lord asked me to tell you that very soon you are going to hear a news. He said, when you hear the news about the fellow, he said, don't weep. Because it's victory for you. I don't know who that fellow is. He said, don't weep. It's a victory for you. Thank you, Father. Lift up your offering. Kalima to Gashem Talia. And say, Father. By my seed. Perfect my greatness. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Talima to Gashem Talima Ma. Salima Ma Gashem Talia. Kalimo to Gashem Talia. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I decree. Financially, you are going to be great. One more time. Financially and materially, you are going to be great. May the Lord accept your offering. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. Don't forget, later this evening we'll be meeting for our digging deep. We are still talking about obedience and God of signs and wonder. Don't miss it. Invite your friend. Come on time. And as you come, come with expectation. And of course, I encourage you these few days remaining to the end of the month don't miss any of the meetings because I know God will crown this month for you with rejoicing. Only one person said amen. Between your own blessing and my own, which one is the biggest? You believe your own is the biggest. Shout hallelujah. The grace.